Steel bar is a refining material used at the intermediate work table in order to produce the iron axe and the iron pick hammer. More commonly, it is used at the assembly station in order to produce uh, many structures like the civil processor and the ore refinery. You will need it also at the forging machine in order to produce uh, the iron great sword, iron sword and shield and iron dagger. While at the tailoring machine for the rescue team boots. But most importantly, you will need it in order to produce uh, more advanced refining materials like the iron plate, cast iron rod, cast iron pipe, cast iron nails and so on. Before you will be able to obtain it, you have to progress in the mine storyline until it will be destroyed a bridge. After this will happen, go above your workshop in order to reach the hammer time building. Outside of it, you have to interact with the cash desk. This will allow you to discover that now you can buy up to 20 steel bar each day for a price of 99 gold each. If you want to save your gold the next day, visit the bottom right side from your workshop where you have to enter inside the Ufala salvage junkyard. Here you will find a new type of scrap called ruined boost frame. Mining it down will reward you with a huge amount of iron scraps. That next you can place inside a civil recycler in order to convert them in some steel bars. If you want more iron scraps, check at the entrance of the junkyard where you will find a robot you can mine down for them. Also on the external sides of the fence you will find also new scraps called hyper sleep chamber. Those also will give you a good amount of iron scraps. For a passive way, you have to progress further in the storyline until you will receive a quest called the Keep on Rocking. After you will complete it, enter inside the Ufala salvage shop. In the middle now you will be able to interact with the desk. From where you will be able to start and upgrade a contract. If you have it at the level 3, you will receive every day inside the box uh, will appear near your mailbox uh, some scraps including the iron you need. For the next method you can obtain some steel bars, you have to interact with a civil furnace. Inside it you will find a new recipe that will allow you to convert 3 iron ore, 1 graffiti and 1 diners into 1 steel bar. Speaking about the iron ore you will need for the steel bars. Before you will be able to obtain it, you have to proceed in the mine storyline until you will repair the hydrogel. Next, visit the Ophala salvage shop located to the bottom right from your workshop. In the right corner of this building, interact with the cash desk. After completing the quest mentioned previously, you will be able to buy up to 40 iron ore each day for a price of 16 gold. In case you don't want to buy it but farm it, you have to proceed in the mine questline until you will repair a bridge. This bridge will allow you to access a new area and immediately in its top right side you will find a gecko station ruins entrance. Inside this dungeon you have to find and mine some yellow nodes called the pirite. By mining those you will be able to collect the iron ore. You also can find occasionally the iron ore by mining the terrain in these dungeons as well. Time to speak about the graffiti that is the second ingredient of the steel bar recipe. You need to explore the new desert biome you discovered for the iron ores. Around the rock formations here you will find some raw minerals you will be able to mine. Doing so will reward you with several resources including the graffiti you need. For the second method you have to access the gecko station ruins. In this dungeon you have to mine the regular terrain in order to obtain the graffiti. At this point is left only the diners for the steel bar recipe. The easier way to obtain some is by collecting some junk piles and stone piles around your workshop. For a better method you have to obtain your first stone pick hammer and then search for some gravel rocks. Mining those will allow you to collect a good amount of dinas and also some stone and other ingredients. But the most efficient way to farm it is unlocked after you will reach the abandoned mines. In these dungeons, by mining the terrain, you will obtain a huge amount of dinas. In case you want to save your stamina to the bottom right side from your workshop, you have to enter inside the Ufala salvage shop, where in the right corner of this building you have to interact with the cash desk. This will allow you to buy up to 20 dinas by paying 8 gold each. 
Another location where you will be able to buy some is the Amira home, located in the central part of the map under the temple. Here you also will be able to buy up to 20 dinas each day. The next location where you will be able to buy some is in the bottom right side of the map inside the commerce guild. Immediately after entering inside, reach the cash desk to the right. Here also you will be able to buy up to 20 dinas each day. The fourth and the last location where you will be able to buy some is to the bottom left side from the Amira home, where you will be able to enter inside a construction junction. Here the cash desk is immediately on the right side after entering the building and also can sell you up to 20 dinas each day. Speaking about an extra way to obtain some steel bars, in the new desert biome you will find some scorpions you have to defeat. In fact, they have a good chance to drop you some steel bars. Also, while exploring secret caves and quest dungeons, don't forget to loot all the junk piles. Some of them will have the steel bar as well.